What's happening, guys? It's Peter Adam. Welcome to another episode on the Heartland of Hope and Glory. Now, I believe this is episode seven. Now, it's been a little bit weird uh, doing an episode around this time for me because I've actually been working the whole weekend in the ambulance service, so 12-hour shifts, which means I don't get to play any FIFA, I don't get to do any videos. I did schedule an upload for the Saturday, so that should be up, and you can go and check that out. We are recording now on Monday. Obviously, we know Foot Champs has been extended, but I didn't qualify for that anyway due to not being able to play that many games uh, by the time that the Rivals points qualified you for it. And then basically, what, ha what has happened is because I haven't been able to basically play the game as much as I would like, and I haven't been able to be on the PlayStation as much as I was like. I've got my Division Rivals rewards. So obviously it's not a Thursday, it's a Monday. Most people will be looking at the Squad Battles rewards today. But I have all the Division Rivals rewards. I took untradeable. There's some SBC packs. We've got about 13 packs or so in the store. Plus that deadline day Team of the Week pack. Which I'm going to consider opening. Because Sergio Ramos is in the Team of the Week. And he would be a great addition to the squad. Now, as I say, always, links are down in the description to my previous series. Please go and check them out. Most of them are FIFA 20, but I have started the Graph to a Draft series. There will be another episode of that up this week, at least one. Uh, I do have a little bit more time this week to do some recordings, so hopefully I'll be getting some content out for you guys. As always as well, my link to my Twitter is down in the description, at Brad861. And it looks like we'll be doing some streaming on Twitch soon as well, and that is also at Brad861. So go and check them both out. Interact with me. We can have a chat about football, about WWE, about anything you really want at the moment uh, that I'm interested in. Um... But without any further delay, let's get on to the store. Let's get on here and start opening these packs. Now, I was thinking about what I really want because a lot of these, like I say, are untradeable. So I've kind of got that thought of process of where I've like, well, if I pack a banger untradeable, I'm going to need to pretty much change my team. But if we pack something that we can sell in the tradables... So, I mean, let's take, for instance, let's take an Mbappe, right? So if I pack an untradeable Mbappe, obviously we're going to change the team around and build the team around him. If we pack him in a tradable pack, I'm probably going to sell him because I need the coins and um, it means I can sort of upgrade the whole of my team rather than just sort of one player and build around them. What I should just mention as well, before we go and open the packs, my transfer list is almost entirely full. Uh, 97 items I think I've got on there at the moment. Um, so what I did is I've invested in some fodder, uh, obviously the market is really uh, crashed at the moment. So I've invested in some fodder, but not only that, I've invested in the marquee matchup potential for the uh, Champions League game. So I have bought loads and loads and loads of Ander Herreras at 900 coins. I think that PSG are going to be in the uh, marquee matchups for UCL. I think they will do that uh, hopefully tomorrow night or Wednesday. Um, and that this this hopefully will boost this card up. Even if this boosts this card up to 2,000 coins, I've made double profit. And I think I've invested about 75k in this. You'll then see as well at the end there, I have got some Zlatans. So when he started on his little scoring spree at the weekend, I bought some Zlatans at about 1,900 coins. Tried to sell them at 2.7 at the time, thinking they might rise. They didn't. So what I'm going to do is wait and see if he does get his team of the week. But generally, he's an 83 anyway. 83 rated fodder is going to go up regardless of whether I sell him now or hold on to him or he doesn't get a team of the week. He's going to go up in price eventually. Um, other than that, you saw the Otamendi's I've got there, which I'm just obviously waiting to sell at some point there. I don't think there's anything else to talk about other than at the weekend I did sort of spot a few things so like uh, when Zaha scored his penalty I did buy a few Zahas managed to sell him on for two and a half K more uh, almost instantly so people buying in the hype of hoping they're getting an inform uh, was my best friend to make some coins um, but obviously I've got a lot of coins invested there in potential SBC players and things but anyway enough rambling let's go and open this 75 plus rated rare player pack so I don't think this is going to bring us anything anyway and then we'll get into the business end of the packs. No, not even a board. And it's not even someone that would be a potential super sub. So um, let's send him to the club and let's get on with uh, let's get on with the business end of the pack. So jumbo rare gold packs, small prime pa small prime gold players pack. We've got a rare gold pack times two plus our pre-order pack at the end there. Prime Electrums, Rare Electrums, Small Rare Mixed Players. We'll start with the Small Rare Mixed Players. And like I said, I think I'm going to open the Team of the Week Deadline Day pack because I want Ramos. 
as we don't even get a ball in this one. And um, yeah, I think waiting any other time for any other sort of different um, team of the week player is just kind of a waste of time holding on to that pack. Nothing great in there. Got a little centre back, so that might be handy for the uh, league SBCs when they come out. Again, I've been seeing some things about those. The Serie A doesn't look that great this year because there's a lot of players that aren't even in the game, let alone silver players needed. Uh, so some of them could be really expensive this year. So it's worth, if you've got surplus coins, maybe investing in building those teams now. Uh, right, let's open this more prime gold players pack and then we'll get on to the other packs, which are all, like I say, untradeable. I'm not sure if this one is. It is a board, though. German board. Werner? Okay, I don't know if this is tradable or untradable. It's tradable. Oh my god. How much is he? Okay, that said 220. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get on foot bin. Bear with me one second. I can't use him at this point because, like, he's gonna have a price crash. Like, massively gonna have a price crash. But people are still playing draft, uh, weekend league right now. Will maybe think that they've come up against a Werner and been absolutely smashed to pieces by him. And he's 247,000 coins. What a pull from a small prime gold players pack. That was 12 minutes ago. Do you know what? I'm going to do the sensible thing. Put him up to the transfer list. Let's quick sell those because I haven't got room on the transfer list. And we'll go and have a look. Because it says 247 on footbin. Obviously, you can use anybody else to use your uh, sort of coin comparisons. Um, but I want to get him for, like, obviously. Right. 250. There are four on the market. Uh, sorry, four. They've been on the market four minutes. I reckon I can get 249 for this. So 2k more than what it says on there. Which obviously isn't a lot of difference after tax. But Footbin, when it says 12 minutes ago, always makes me a little bit uh, suspicious about the fact that actually, you know, that they're a little bit out on the prices. So 249k. What a pull. That's not even... I mean, we're now going into the untradeable pack. So if I was to pack a team of owner again, then I'd be able to use him. That would be incredible. But we need coins in this series. Um, it helps me to invest. It helps me to improve my team. That's a massive, massive pull. I can't believe it. Right. Let's go with the untradeables first. And we will leave our... Um, yeah, we'll leave our rare gold pack pre-order at the end. Whew. Gassed. Timo Werner. Wow. Did not see that coming. Not a board in this one. How do you say that name? Mahal? Oh, I've got Brendia from my home t my home club, Norwich. Mayhill. Never heard of him. Never mind. I'm sure he's a great player. All right, let's get rid of these. Oh, actually, let's get some coins in the account. Lovely job. It's not a lot, 616 coins, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Better than a kick in the teeth, as they say. All right, come on. No board. Antonio, okay. I'll tell you what, if he actually gets like a couple of informs this year, because he has been going well, that card will be banging. He'd end up being like, say, like 87 or 88 pace with 80 dribbling, maybe 79 shooting, and 86 physical. He would be a, a banging card to get an inform right now. So, I and mean, obviously, to uh, any of my friends or any of my followers that are. Tottenham supporters, uh, LIJS, who I did a, my collab with on Foot Eliminator. Um, I fully jinxed the Tottenham game at the weekend at 3-0. I said this could be double figures, and they haven't even brought Bale on yet. Then, at half-time, it was still 3-0, so I said, how well has this tweet aged? And then, they go and concede three, and it's three all at the end. 
it hadn't aged very well at all. I am so sorry, Tottenham fans. I fully believe I jinxed you. Right, let's leave the rares and the rares there. We'll go Prime Electrums next. No board again. I'm still gassed we've got Timo Werner. It's on there. It's just on the screen there on my... Uh, on my footbin on my PC. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking at it thinking, I can't believe I just got Werner. Right, okay. This is a tradable pack. Okay. Don't know what this is from. I'll take it. 1,200 coins in the bank, as they say, and Werner is gone. 626k plus all those coins invested. We're looking good in the club at the moment. We are. Again, no board. Gabriel Paulista, though, he's a nice centre back and I think usable uh, with a shadow on him, maybe. Um, for starter teams, anyway. I doubt he's going for anything, though. No. Obviously, a lot of people now with rewards and things will be passed out. A left back for Palmer could be huge when it comes to the league SPCs. At the moment, he's 850 coins. Ben Benito as well, or Benevento. Uh, this card, not only could this potentially be big for the league SPCs, but if you notice their badge, it's got a witch on it. Obviously, we are very close to the Halloween. Benevento cards were used at one point, I remember. Right, let's go with, let's go with the tradable, because we know the rest is going to be untradable. I don't want to get gassed at at seeing a, a decent card in the other packs and being annoyed that it's not a tradable player. So we'll open the tradable rare gold players pack, uh, rare gold pack first, and it's Cragno. Not great. Arguing Robin, how badly have they nerfed his pace? I mean, what does he know? 84, so he's two years older than me, 36. Okay, less said about that, the better. I don't even reckon I've got 74 pace, if I'm honest. Okay. We'll go rare goals, then we'll go for the players' packs. In the rare electrums, my favourite pack on the game. I've been saying this for many, many years. We're not getting anything else, though, are we? Do we really peak with a Timo Werner as our second player? It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's 250k in the bank. Nothing in there. Okay. Last rare gold pack. We've got a board in this one at least. Strakosha? Okay. 83 fodder. Don't know if I've got him in my club already. No, I haven't. So that's not too bad. Two catalysts and a PSG Rafinha. Um, I'm going to stick him up to the uh, transfer list. I know I ain't got much room on there. Um, but... Obviously, I've said, PSG, I think they're going to be in the SBCs. Rare Electrums, not a board. Come on, don't do me dirty again. Every time I say you're the best pack in the game, I get nothing. Lucas Vasquez. Let's try and see a win in Lucas Vasquez. No, there isn't a win in Lucas Vasquez. Ikone, nice. Looks like a decent card as well, actually. And um, scored at the weekend as well. Joshua King, obviously plays in the lower league now. But um, yeah, it looks like a potential super sub. Uh, Herrera in, I think this guy is maybe someone I always pack. Hang on a minute, this is tradable as well. I swore these were untradable. It would appear I don't know where these packs have come from. Um, so actually, let's pick a tradable beast up. Come on. Board. Come on. Expensive board. Brazilian. CDM. Lucas Leiva. I mean, he's 84 rated, but... Not usable, and fodder is so down in price right now. Oh, that is untradeable. Oh, that's about right. Okay, there we go. Right, Tyson, is he actually still worth coins? He was about 2k at one point. Mm, he's worth more than discarding, so let's put him at a k. And then everyone else will just get rid of. Arjun Robin, we know we just got a minute ago, but he was tradable. And we'll sell them as well, so... All in all, I mean, that wasn't too bad, really. Are we opening the Team of the Week deadline day pack? I want Sergio Ramos. Here we go. Come on, at least just be a walkout, please. That's not a walkout. That's going to be a stinky one. 
Oh dear. Is that uh, Sigurdsson? What did he even get? Was it an 84? 82? Oh wow. Oh wow. I mean, look at that. Sigurdsson at striker. How is that even a usable card with 60 pace? The rest of his stats make look nice, and actually for maybe a midfielder, no. Once he picks up pace, he'll be alright for a midfielder, but right now he's just he's just a team of the week fodder for when we give him an SBCs. Um, okay, we know Werner sold. That is pretty incredible. That puts us up to 629,000 coins. What I need to do now is I need to go and play some rivals to get some more rewards for Thursdays. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go play some rivals. I'll... What should we do? Should we put highlights in of the games or should we play no do you know what i'll play the first game and this is the team i've been doing on the first owner objective right here we go this is the team now we will go and play and i'll show you the highlights for this game on rivals and then i'll go and play the rest off camera gonna maybe play four or five let's have a look at this team It's okay. I've heard Richarlison's meant to be incredible, but I just look at the stats on his card and I just don't see it. But a lot of people say, you know, say how good he is, and he is really expensive still. So let's uh, get our formation sorted and let's get into this game. What a terrible pass! There we go, a nice little one-two play between Fatty and Haaland. Lovely goal. Um, he's had, I would say, three clear chances through on goal with Richarlison. And he's put every single one wide. Um, so what I was saying about him... He's dived in there. He's absolutely dived in and wiped out Aspas. I hate penalties though. I hate them with a passion. Come on, please just score one for a change. I, I can't score penalties on this game. It just seems like every time I go one way, they know where I'm going. But we do convert with getting back the ball into the box to Fatty. Turns, smash it in the top corner. That's what I'm talking about. And a lovely cross and a lovely goal from Haaland. I'm so glad that you can head her again on this game. But that's a lovely ball in from Aspas. Unfortunately, he's one of the players that I would like to be looking to replace. But actually, he is actually really good for his card. And he's given it away to me. We're straight in again and scored. With the Algo Aspas, as I was just talking him up. 4-0 at half time. We're, we're coasting. So we're in at half time, 4 0 up. What to say, really? Um, Aspas is having the game of his life. Haaland's got us a couple of goals. He's been through on goal, I would say, four times easily, like as in one on one, four times, I'm talking, with Richarlison who hit it the post once and put it wide three times. Um, so I don't rate him in, in terms of that. I think he should be doing better. You can see, look, nine shots to my eight. I've had six on target, so I've had more percentage of my shots on target. We're equal in possession, but my accuracy and my shot accuracy is what is, is winning me the game here. I don't feel like we're going to concede four or five um, and lose this, so we'll just carry on, get ourselves over the finish line. He's finally scored one. 
with a little sweat. That's fair enough. Just before that, we were clean through with Royce and uh, tried to just chip the keeper, but Royce took an age to get the shot away. Uh, something I've noticed this year is that that does happen a little bit. Um, as I go and give the ball away. Yeah, that they just seem to take a long time to wind up the shot. And what is that? It's the pass out to the winger, wing back. How has he missed? How has he missed that to get us 5-1? I don't want this guy thinking he can get back in this game. Again, how has Haaland missed? He never misses with his left foot. Nice goal, Benzema. Turns the inside out with a fake shot. Fair play. We've had some good chances to get some more goals, but um, oh my God, the passing suddenly gone terrible. Cheers, Haaland. Thanks, mate. And so fact, he's gone and absolutely lambasting that at the goal. Would definitely have been a goal. And uh, yeah, Royce has just decided to bend over and let it hit his ass. Well, 4-2 in the end. He did get two goals back. I think we probably had just as many shots again as him, though, in that uh, second half. So we were, what, 8-9? and nine? What did we finish on? 16-14. and 14. So I had more shots than him uh, in the second half. But we took our shot accuracy down from 75% to 56%. Uh, so, yeah, we had a bit of a terrible second half in terms of our accuracy. We do even get the win though, and it's our first win on Division Rivals since Thursday. Like I said, not been able to play the game, unfortunately. But we will try and get some Division Rivals games played before Thursday, so we've got some decent rewards for Thursday as well. Obviously, I will be looking towards the SBCs for the Champions League to see, obviously, if I can make some money on the players that I have invested in. I would advise looking into those as well. So I think we've got Man United versus PSG, and I think Bayern Munich play as well. Um, so... Like I say, if there's going to be a marquee matchups type Champions League SBC, then that is what I would be invested in. I'd be looking at those players, especially if you could pick them up like I did for sort of 900 coins, because you know what, you're not going to lose much on them anyway. Let's have a look, see if we've got any packs as we go and get this. We've got a club nickname pack. I don't think you guys will really care about that. And in the team, what have we got here? The team event. Erling Haaland versus Jao Felix. Interesting. Okay. We'll finish off opening this club nickname pack anyway and just get that out of the way. Um, so, already we've got a club called Dynamo. Let's see if that's... Oh, look at that. 32,000... 32 coins. 32,000 coins? That'd be the most expensive club nickname ever. 32 coins in the bank on that. So we're at 631. We've got some players invested. We're looking pretty good in the Harland of Hope and Glory squad at the moment. And so far, I don't really want to change anyone. Obviously, I need to probably increase my centre-backs. Um, but everybody else is doing a pretty good job. Mares actually maybe isn't doing what I would hope. But maybe we'll look for something pacier on the right-hand side. So maybe I could look to... I don't know, maybe get a different link to... Um, a different link to Cancelo or maybe even get rid of Cancelo and get someone else on the right hand side that hyperlinks to each other but generally pretty happy with the team and happy with how the series is going so far we got Timo Werner that's a 250 coin player so that doesn't deserve a like I don't know what does and please do drop a sub when we get to 100 subs I'm still going to be doing that FIFA giveaway so get down and subscribe now it's free to do so and it could get you some fifa points for when we hit some promo packs so you can try and pack yourself a team Verna as well as always thank you ever so much for tuning in i've been brad